Welcome back. As we just learned, in Milwaukee, there are considerable gaps in wealth and employment that companies are working hard to overcome. We exist as a community of young professionals of color looking to advance talent, reduce barriers, and close those gaps. U.S. banks' commitment to diversity and inclusion has led them to lend their resources and support behind the organization in an effort to make Milwaukee a better place, not just for people of color, but for everyone. We are here at U.S. Bank to learn about a new program, a unique program, that is really offering opportunities and creating community. We Exist is relatively new, but it's already making a difference in the lives of African American professionals in the area. Joining me are Nita Johnson, who is a Senior Vice President at U.S. Bank, and Jasmine Johnson, who is one of the co-founders of We Exist. Thank you both very much for being here with us. Thank you. Jasmine, tell us about We Exist. What is it, and what was it that really inspired the creation of this program? Well, thanks again, first and foremost, to Nina and U.S. Bank for being one of the top tier investors in We Exist, and of course to you, Denise, for creating the platform, the opportunity to discuss We Exist. We Exist is really a rebrand of an initiative that had started um, right before COVID. It's been going strong for about five years that brought together professionals of color, specifically at the time, African-American professionals from 18 different corporate um, in entities here in the greater Milwaukee region through their ERGs. We would get together on a quarterly basis just for community and connection. Uh, many of the partners would use it as an opportunity to bring in their new hires. Uh, once we understood you know, that certain places throughout the city, being that Milwaukee is one of the most segregated cities in the nation, a lot of those senior leaders and executives that were being brought in didn't necessarily see themselves in neighborhoods and communities that they um, were positioned in with their realtor, right? So it created a, a communal opportunity for them to come and connect, see professionals that look like them, and talk about even things outside of our professional realm. Like, you know, you can't address ethnic care at the Supercuts in Waukesha, right? And so being able to talk about where to go get, you know, the salon and the barbershop and places of, of worship or how to just even get connected in the nonprofit space to be able to give and, and give back and serve. And so obviously with the pandemic, uh, we no longer could get together in person. So the rebrand came into effect through that time of COVID. Um, we all know that the pandemic had a tumultuous um, impact on all of us, but through that, able to find silver linings and ways to rebrand, to reinvent things, and that's exactly what we existed. And it's really a place to convene, um, not just professionals of color, we align with the Milwaukee um, MMAC's region of choice to focus on African American, Hispanic, and I added Southeast Asian because that is a population that does definitely also need the opportunity for exposure as well through a digital platform to bring us together. So think about just like a localized LinkedIn is the opportunity for We Exist to dispel myths and give exposure to professional color in places and spaces and with leaders that we don't naturally often have the opportunity to do, but then also create a digital place for us to share resources and information amongst each other as well. Nina U.S. Bank is, is partnering with We Exist. What are some of the benefits of doing that for U.S. Bank? Sure. So as Jasmine stated, uh, you know, it's really important for the city of Milwaukee to come together and, and just support each other in, in this season. And so when we heard about the Wellness Wednesdays, when we knew that they were going to be moving forward on the technological side of things, we thought this is a great opportunity for partnership. Uh, Jasmine has been a stellar leader as well as her, her peer and, and partner, uh, Kira from the, uh, the former uh, Business Journal. Kira Lafont. Yes. Kira Lafont, yes. They've been so intentional about supporting people of diverse uh, backgrounds that I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to invest in women, women from all uh, aspects of the word, you know, the ones who are juggling and multitasking. And so that uh, level of diversity was the key component of my interest and U.S. Bank's uh, interest just because we are doing some things with uh, women inside of the bank. And we thought this is a great next step in that process. Also, as a woman of color, really wanted to hone in on uh, the level of diversity that we see right here in Milwaukee. When we think about the black, pop black population of Milwaukee being a approximately 40 percent 
of, of uh, you know, the makeup here in this footprint, yet there's a level of uh, leadership need to make sure that the leaders within the organizations like US Bank represent the communities that we support. I saw several touch points that could be uh, benefited by the partnership. And so when I heard that Jasmine and Kira were working on this del delicate uh, model and they were launching it through uh, an initiative virtually, I thought, gee, this is a perfect time to uh, just hone in on building out an external uh, arm to what we're doing internally. And so that was the, the catalyst for the decision to move forward and uh, fund the initiative uh, as a premier sponsor, but then also um, use some creativity in that. And so we took that model and we said, gee, are you all able to use what you're doing and kind of turn it on steroids a little bit, just turn it around a little, and Jazz was looking at me like, okay, Nina, what, what's on your mind? <laughs> and so we sat down and just kind of walked through how we could take this initiative to the next level, which is by using We Exist as a portal, which there's approximately 1,400 members mm -hmm. uh, through We Exist, and we said, you know, that portal could be a great launching pad for people who are looking at the banking industry as an opportunity for future promotion. So let's do this. Let's take that model and let's build it into the infrastructure of what we're doing within U.S. Bank. So pulling in our recruiting and HR department so that we can then have opportunity to share all of the positions within Wisconsin, within the entire state through We Exist. And so that was how we were able to partner along with sponsorship to make sure that there was a pipeline to progress for people who are interested in moving forward in the banking industry who are diverse. What would you say to companies that perhaps have not made the commitment to we exist at this point in time in terms of it being um, a resource, not just in terms of recruitment, but also retention? I would say, you know, if you're talking about strategy, which we're wrapping up the, uh, the year, this is a great time to think about your strategic plan and building in diversity, equity, and inclusion into that model and making it a tangible aspect of where you're going in the future. So if we're looking at 2023 and we're saying, okay, how do we create a business development model that, in, it, that is an inclusive model? This is one of the ways that you can do that. There are several organizations that you can partner with. I prefer We Exist just because I know who's you know just running the shop, so to speak. Um, and if you know Jasmine, you know she's not gonna let a ball drop. Uh, so for me, that works well as it pertains to US Bank. But there's you know opportunities to just think outside of the box and take a current program and build it into something even more robust than it was initially created to be. So I, I believe those opportunities exist and it's a great opportunity to start, to start thinking about that right now as you build out strategy, noting that business development should also include diversity, equity, and inclusion. Jasmine, what do you hear from individuals who are part of the We Exist community? Particularly people who may not be from Wisconsin, may not have that that family or other personal connections, how does we exist to kind of help them find a space and a spot where they feel comfortable and, and does it help them want to stay in Wisconsin? Well, I can say, um, you know, for those who have connected into the we exist community, um, it's, it's been able to solve for them to have a place of connectivity and to, you know, have a baked, ready network of professional individuals that look like themselves, because many of us are navigating every single day as the only one in all of the rooms and places that we enter, whether it is professionally, whether it is just dining out downtown. And so being able to have a community where you can connect to immediately and have that connection. And thank you so much, Nina, you know, for pointing out, you know, how the purpose of We Exist is also building in real time. So when you have an investor such as the leadership of Nina Johnson with US Bank and saying like these are some of the needs in addition because it's it was a brand new portal we could still pressure test and develop and innovate along the way and you know when she mentioned Kira um, you know how people are still connecting not even just people who are coming here for new opportunities but there's a lot of Milwaukee natives who still have struggled with navigating their professional careers and their network in you know c-suite relationships and so you know when Kira asked me like what do you want this to be and it was really in that conversation that helped aid it the rebrand of we exist from the previous model so I told her like for me, one day I will know we as a community have arrived 
when there's no need for ERGs or BRGs because that is a moment in time when we can all truly show up in our true authentic selves and get through our work day without talking about hair or talking about certain things. Um, but until then, the ERGs and BRGs are really needed. And I told her, I was like, you know, this conversation that diverse talent doesn't exist, I want to dispel that myth that we do exist. And I was like, you know, every now and then when those C-suite executives are turning pages in the Milwaukee Business Journal, I want to serve up not just diverse faces, but diverse sectors and in industries where these professionals are leading. And one of the things that I was told by a mentor in my professional career, that the acronym PI, for people of color, you know, having to perform and having the image is given. We have to have those things. But the greatest slice of the pie is exposure. And if you have the performance, you have the image, and you're never given the opportunity to have a platform to showcase that talent, um, then the rest of it's for not, and it's even more of a struggle to grow. So those that have joined into the portal, they've gotten a chance to be in front of a president and CEO several times from various organization and partner entities that they never had the opportunity to be in before. They've gotten to connect with other people as well as allies and accomplices who are equally important through this journey as well. So those are some of the aspects. You know, we've been able to curate a diverse pool of talent that it, over 1,400, as Nina mentioned. Nina and U.S. Bank and our other investors have the opportunities. So really working together to be a bridge, to bring the talent pool to the opportunities and help also um, shrinking the wealth gap and the prosperity yes. gap as we go. Well, it sounds like there are exciting things that are going on now for We Exist. Even better things are on the horizon. And that is good for our community because it means we are including everyone and recognizing talent wherever it exists. So thank you so much for being here with us, talking about We Exist and for U.S. Bank's support of growing a diverse and inclusive workforce. Thank, thank you, you, Nina. Thank you. When we return, we'll highlight a community program that is making our neighborhoods safer through connection, beautification, and job education. <laughs>